Regular viewers will know that I am a fan of Teltonica's professional industrial routers, as they are designed for the harsh life on the road. Reliable, secure, configurable to suit your needs and proven technology. Used in many commercial solutions from buses to trains, fire engines to police vans and helicopters to rally cars. So today we're going to look at their new entry level RUT241 4G router. The RUT241 is the replacement for Teltonica's popular RUT240. If you've researched motorhome Wi-Fi before, you may think you've already seen it. Well, that's because its predecessor has been used for some time by a number of motorhome manufacturers and aftermarket kits as their go-to solution, just with a different sticker and a large markup. The main differences between the 240 and the 241 are a new and improved user interface with basic and advanced modes so it can suit novices and those that want to configure it more. More RAM and a faster processor which give it a more slick experience and make it more capable in its performance. Solwise.co.uk have provided us with this RUT241 to try out, but they have no editorial control over what we say, and as always, it's very important to us that we give an honest review to help make the choice that is right for you. If you do choose the RUT241 or any of the other products that Solwise sell, which includes a wide range of Teltonica routers and pointing antennas, you can get 10% off your purchase simply by entering ExploreVan in the discount code at the checkout. So let's take a look at what we get in the box, starting with a quick start guide, an ethernet cable, mobile and Wi-Fi antennas, SIM adapters, a 240 volt power adapter, and the unit itself. If you're considering the RUT241, you're probably thinking, why is this a better choice than a normal MiFi from the likes of Netgear, ZTE or Huawei? So here's my thoughts of how it compares to the average portable MiFi. We're going to look into most of these in more detail, but as a quick run through, the Teltonica is more robust, it has better antenna connections, the power option seems to be better, it has ether connections that a portable MiFi doesn't, it's much more configurable, you can have up to 50 devices connected, it has various options to do with Wi-Fi and access points and configurability that a MiFi will never have, it's unnetwork locked as standard, some MiFi's will be locked to the network you purchase them for. It has extra features like inputs and outputs, and it's manufactured and supported in the EU, unlike most portable MiFi's. The two SMA connectors for the external antennas for mobile are more robust and secure than the TS9 connectors found on many MiFi's that break quite easily and vibrate loose. Used with either the included antenna or allowing direct connection without adapters to external antennas like the pointing puck or MIMO3, a good positive connection will help to ensure a good signal. You also have the option to attach an external Wi-Fi antenna, which you wouldn't get on a portable MiFi. When it comes to power, the unit can run on anything from 9 volts to 30 volts DC, meaning if you're using it in a van, you don't need to worry about a power unit to regulate the supply or a USB adapter. The power connection is also robust and positive locking, so it won't vibrate loose. The Ethernet connections allow you to connect to a cabled internet or connect a laptop or similar by cable rather than relying on Wi-Fi. But for the Teltonica router, configuration is the real killer benefit you don't get with a MiFi or most home routers. Here we can see that the unit is connected using band 3. This is because it's set on auto and it's probably the strongest signal. Let's have a look at the performance that we get while connected to band 3. Now we know that the antenna we're connected to also has bands 1 and 20. Now with the RUT241 we can force it to connect using those bands. So first let's try band 1. Remembering that we got 2.3 megabits per second download on band 3, let's have a look at the performance now. 
So with six megabits per second, we're more than twice as fast using band one rather than band three. Now we're also going to trade band 20 while we're here. And on band 20, we get better performance than band three, but not as good as band one. So we were able to select the band which best suits us, which we wouldn't be able to do with a simpler router. Another thing that can be configured is the Wi-Fi channel. Now on a lot of routers this is all automatic and you have no option to change it. Now if that gets congested, when you move to a new location for example, there's nothing you can do other than switching off the router and restarting and hoping it picks another channel. With this we can identify the channels and change it ourselves. As well as changing the settings of the Wi-Fi channel to connect to the unit, if there's a hotspot available, say on a campsite, we can make the unit connect to that to use that internet connection. And it will then rebroadcast that into the van. We can also set the unit to automatically switch to the 4G network if the signal or bandwidth gets low, or even connect to both simultaneously and balance the load across the two to give us extra speed. If we really want to make use of our van being online, we can use the input and output on the router to remotely control something in the van, or to give us notifications if something happens. We have our anti-theft alarm connected to it, so if it's triggered, the alarm sends us a text, but you could also connect a thermostat to tell you if the temperature in the van gets too hot. For example, if you have dogs. As well as sending you notifications from the input, you can also get status updates from the unit by SMS and send commands to it by SMS. Another good feature is being able to set the router to forward any text messages it receives to another number. This means if you get a notification that you're running low on data, you can have it send that to your mobile phone so that you know. Multiple access points are something we find really useful. In this example, we're going to set up a second connection specifically for our kids to use with a different name and password. Why is having this helpful? Well, as the unit is so configurable, we can add additional packages to it. And I'm adding the Smart Q Manager package. Adding this package, which is free and from the many available for the router, adds a new menu item called Traffic Shaping. What I can then do is select that kid's specific connection and restrict the amount of bandwidth that they can use, meaning that they can't interrupt my important Zoom meeting by hogging all the bandwidth watching Netflix while listening to Spotify and playing Minecraft. So what I've done is I've told the router to only allow a maximum of 2 megabits per second on the kid's network. So first of all, let's connect to the normal network and see what we're getting. And now let's switch to the kids network. And rerun that speed test. And we can see that the router is restricting the amount of bandwidth that's able to be used. This can be expanded further to add more access points or with different priorities to make sure that the ones that need to have a connection can get it. A final point if you want to is for a small monthly fee you can have full remote access of the router through Teltonica's remote management service, being able to monitor its performance and change any settings even when you're not there. So overall, whilst the CAT4 modem in the RUT241 is reasonably basic, meaning a maximum available speed of 150 megabits per second, in reality for us, that's plenty. The levels of configuration available for the cost is amazing, and it's a great first step into the world of professional mobile internet solutions. Whether you've decided that the RUT241 is right for you, or you want to stretch to some of the even more advanced Teltonica routers, or you need an external antenna for your current router, you can get 10% off any items for the Solwise online shop simply by entering ExploreVan in the discount code at the checkout. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.